Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to set up a U30 personal weather station to push the data to Weather Underground. To begin with, you will need to create an account on Weather Underground. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in into that account now. I will log in into my account on Weather Underground. It's wonderground.com by the way. Once you are into your account on Weather Underground site, navigate to the tab Weather Stations. On the Personal Weather Stations page, you will now see a section that says Upload your data to Weather Underground. Go ahead and click the link Manage My Personal Weather Stations. On the Personal Weather Stations page now, you will see a table showing a list of all the weather stations that you have configured with Weather Underground. If this is the first time you are using this feature, you will see an empty table here. As you can see, I have already added few U30s to push the data to Weather Underground. Let's create a new weather station now. Click on the link New Weather Station. In the section Add a Station, fill up the fields. As you can see, these fields have no device specific information right now. All that they need is location of, of that U30 or the weather station that you will be setting up. Pardon my typo. Put up the address. If you click on the link Find Location, it will auto populate the fields Elevation, Latitude, and Longitude for you. There you go. You may leave the field Maddie's ID blank, it's not applicable to our U30 weather stations. You can leave the link URL blank for now. You will get an URL once you set up the connection on hobolink.com. Until then you can leave this field blank. Station type is Hobo U30 station. Go ahead, submit the form. And voila. You have added a new station in your Weather Underground profile. For the sake of this demo, I will continue using the weather stations I've already added here. Now once you have added a new weather station on Weather Underground, go to hobolink.com to set up the connection between the U30 and the new station you have added just now. So go to hobolink, log in into your account. Once you are into your hobolink account, go to the settings tab. In the settings tab, scroll down to the section which says web publishing in this section you will see the list of all the U30s that have been mapped to your Hobolink account check the checkbox against the U30 that you want to push the data to Weather Underground in the field station ID use the station ID that was auto generated by Weather Underground when you added a new station there so you see the column here, station ID, that was an auto-generated field by Weather Underground. So copy this station ID, go to Hobolink, put the station ID over here. For the password, use the same password that you, that you have used to log in into your Weather Underground profile. So basically use the station ID that was generated by Weather Underground and you use the password that you used for your Weather Underground account. 
go ahead save the login credentials once you save the login credentials you will see a URL right below the station ID row this is the URL that you should use in the link URL field for the weather station on weather underground this is the link that you can also send to the users so that they can see the U30 data on weather underground once the weather underground and the hobo link connection has been set the next call in from the U30 will trigger a push a data push to weather underground so if I open this with the station here you will see the, the latest data from the U30 the section over here is a tabular summary showing uh, the the data grouped in by daily on daily basis on weekly basis monthly yearly and you also get a, a sticker which is nothing but a widget that you can add to your personal website so that your U30 data now can be shown on your personal website you can also see graphs and plots provided by weather underground and you will also be able to see the raw data coming from U30 in a tabular form if you want to do any advanced analysis on these data points you can always download these data points as a comma delimited file or the CSV file you can also get this data in a downloadable format on hobolink.com note that the data that will be available on weather underground will be after you have set up the connection between hobolink and weather underground the data of from the u30 before that before the setup will not be available on weather underground but it will be available on hobolink.com well that's about it hope this video was useful to you and I think you should be able to set up a connection between your U30 personal weather station and weather underground. Thank you so much.